Hey guys, what's going on? It's iHelper, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks that are compatible with the 9.3.3 jailbreak that has been released by Pangu. Let's get started off with this video. And for our first tweak, we have 3D no lag, which is if you have a 3D touch device and you force touch on an app, it looks a lot smoother and a lot cleaner than what the standard iOS looked like. Unfortunately, I can't show you a side-by-side -side comparison because my iPhone 6S right here is the only 3D Touch compatible device. Compatible. 3D. The only device that I have that has the 3D Touch technology. So sorry about that, but you could probably find it off a different YouTuber. Next tweak we have is Alkaline, which basic basically changes the theme of your battery icon now it takes a respring every single time so if you want your battery to look like any of these just click it then go back and then click respring and then it resprings and then you're good to go next tip we have is circle icons which basically if you didn't already notice all my icons on the side are circles because of that app there isn't really much to configure and that's all you really need to know the next week we have a cylinder which gives you a bunch of really nice really clean uh, swipe animations when you swipe through your pages now there are a ton of them a ton that I cannot even list all of them you go into effects these are all the ones that you have but yep that's it for that tweak and that is a free one which is very surprising because barrel is basically the same thing but with a lot less features and a lot less customization delete forever or not HUD speed. delete forever is when you want to um, use delete a photo and it always goes into that delete or uh, recently deleted but if you use this tweak and you click delete it actually has a forever or permanently delete option and then you don't have to go back in and delete it from there which is saves you a lot of time now HUD speed helps with the very annoying volume HUD and it makes it come away really fast or it makes it disappear really fast you could change this to the way you like it, but I like it really slow because it always gets in the way of my YouTube videos and whatnot. But yep, that is a free tweak also. Power tap is a tweak where if you tap on the power, this power icon right here. I hate how this is so bright. Sorry guys, hold on. Let's see if that helps. You can see it now. So yeah, it says slide to power off, and if you just tap it, it says slide to reboot, tap it again, slide to respring, tap it again, slide for safe mode, tap it again, and it just takes you back to power. Really cool tweak, and I find myself using it a lot, especially with the semi tethered jailbreak that Pangu has to offer for us for 9.3.3. Pull to respring is exactly how it sounds. You come all the way up at the top of your settings, pull it. Resprings your device. Round dock gives this nice clean look on the dock. Oh, it has those rounded edges that you probably already noticed. That tweak has a lot of. Oh, I used to have a lot of configuration, but I guess they moved it or optimized it for this uh, jailbreak. Now, send delay, I'm trying to mess around with because it has not been working for me spotlight be gone is a tweak that completely gets rid of spotlight search no longer appears that's basically all that tweak does swipe for more is a tweak in Cydia actually that if you want to install something how about we just go to okay let's go to cylinder 
So here we have cylinder that's already installed, and if we swipe to the left of this tweak, it says Q remove, Q reinstall, and remove. So if you click remove, it removes it and removes it just like you would if you tapped on it and came in, modify, and remove. It'd do the exact same thing. Then if you did Q reinstall, it would reinstall it, and you could keep browsing through Cydia looking for other tweaks. And if you Q removed, you could do the exact same thing and it'll remove it when you're finished. So say I have, when I recently, which I would jailbreak my phone and I have all these tweaks to install, this is the first tweak I get. Because I can just install all my tweaks at once. It's very helpful. Now this isn't good for a jailbreak that is brand new like this one. Because if you're just going installing all these hunky dory tweaks that you usually have on your older firmwares, not all of them are compatible, and when you install all of them, you're not going to know which one puts you in safe mode. So this tweak is not very useful right now for that purpose, but it is very useful uh, to install and remove tweaks all at the same time. TV Locker is an OG tweak. Basically all it does, you lock your phone. And there we have it, it just locks it like that, like an old TV, it's a puppy, ignore him. Uh, type status I cannot show you because I've been trying to set it up but I could not get it to work. Watch notifications is the same thing, now we have a few status bar tweaks I could show, oh actually, reveal NC9 is a tweak that actually lets you reveal the notification center like that, oh it kind of has that clear like slide in instead of that just kind of like popping up out of nowhere and then if you look up in by my service there's usually those circles with the tweak called bars it gives you a more in detail reading of how much data you actually have or how much signal you actually have date and status bar which has a custom source which I will show you at the end just does exactly what it sounds like and puts the date in the status bar and by font 3 lets you change the font of your device which I have running right now and it works very well iCleaner Pro now this is something a must have for any jailbreak user it basically deletes all cache files and I used this as soon as I got my jailbreak and installed all my tweaks and I cleared up about 3 gigabytes of, state, uh, of storage that was just left over really handy tool I uh, I highly recommend it. So the sources, this beta dot on the maps is for a thing for Pokemon Go that I was trying to use but I could not get to work. Bite your apple is a source I always install. Hack your iPhone is a source I always install. I have those memorized. Red Panda Dev, which is HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash which is already in so you don't even have to enter that it's repo.rpdev slash or er, excuse me repo.rpdev dot info forward slash and that is one that you will install for some of these tweaks and then Ryan Petrich is rpetrich forward slash repo forward slash our Petrich is exactly how it looks right there and yeah guys that is it for my first tweak video all around my first video on this new channel I hope you guys enjoy it and found this helpful and if you have any questions comments or concerns you can drop them down in the comment section below if you enjoyed please leave a like and maybe subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and I will catch you guys all in the next video peace